Hey there, you looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. I still remember looking at that first pair of swim trunks and being shocked. Want me to put this on? I said. Outside, Kathy said. Of course that's silly. Don't you just love it? I was used to my blue boxer-style swim trunks that were too big for me. The small piece of clothing that was dangling from my fingers looked like a joke. Kath, it's, um, small. You don't like it, Kathy said, looking hurt. We didn't usually open the pool until Memorial Day, and summer was still two months away. But Kathy said that summer season was just around the corner. We needed to get ready. I looked at the white swimsuit again, and then back at her. Kathy bought the swimsuit at the mall the day before and decided to give it to me as a surprise. Now, I had hurt her feelings with my lack of care because I didn't care. I tried to say what I didn't like as gently as I could. Kathy, it's not that I don't like it. I just don't think it's me. Honey, at least give it a try. I didn't know what to say for myself. Kathy and I had been married for seven years, and I'd like to think we were just as in love as the day she said I do. Still, every long-term relationship gets a little bit stale over time. I guess it was bound to happen. I thought it was nice that Kathy cared enough about our marriage to go to all that trouble. Okay, I said, as I looked at the bathing suit with some doubt. I'll try it out. Thanks, honey. Kathy looked happy, which was the main reason I agreed to try on the swimsuit in the first place. She walked up to me and hugged me. Now get up and go change. I'm excited to see how cute you'll look. I had to force a smile. I would try on the swimsuit so as not to hurt her feelings, but I would never wear it outside or anywhere else. I went into the bathroom, looked at myself for a few seconds in the mirror, and then shook my head. I asked myself, how do you get yourself into these situations? I changed then. I don't know how long I was in the bathroom getting ready, but someone finally knocked on the door and stopped me. Johnny, are you ready yet? Let's take a look. I didn't want to open the door and step out of the bathroom, but I did. I felt completely ashamed as I stood there in the bathing suit. I didn't even want to look at Kathy in the eyes. I looked at the floor between my feet instead. Kathy did a hand clap. Oh, honey, you look so beautiful. This is terrible, Kathy. My wife still fiddled with the pouch on my new swimsuit while tilting her head and smiling. What are you saying? I said out loud. I look so fat in this. Where? As if I were just being silly, Kathy said. I felt terrible about myself. Here, I said as I rubbed my stomach. And this. I grabbed the small love handles that had grown just above my hips. In my regular swim trunks, they were almost impossible to see, but in the briefs I was now wearing, it seemed like every flaw in my body was a hundred times bigger. To my surprise, Kathy listened to what I had to say. So, I think you look great, but if you're worried about the little bit of extra fat around your stomach, we can start a diet tonight, and you can start using my AB roller. When she first got the exercise machine, I made fun of it because I thought it was just another gimmick. I had said that there is no substitute for doing crunches the old way, but I didn't like doing crunches, as my growing stomach showed, and they weren't good for my back. I was desperate and willing to try anything. Do you think that will really help? Kathy patted her own stomach, which was perfectly flat and toned. It has helped me a lot. I looked down at my body and moved my head from side to side. Okay, I said, I'll give it a shot. That night for dinner, I had a small serving of cottage cheese and some melon. After that, we went to the room where the TV was and put on some HBO. I yawned, can't we watch something else? Kathy pointed to the abdominal roller that was in front of the TV. You're not here to watch TV, but to work out. I laid down on the floor, put my head on the small support, lifted my arms, and started working out. More than once, I tried to hide the tears that were running down my face by wiping them away. It's okay, Johnny, Kathy said with a smile that made her own eyes fill up. During that whole week, I got used to my new way of eating and working out. After dinner, I work out on the AB roller while Kathy watched a chick flick. After that first night, I only asked a few times if we could watch something else like a baseball game for a change. I already knew what she would say, but I think I asked because I had a wrong idea of what a guy should watch. 
The truth was that I liked how most of Kathy's TV shows and movies showed emotions, relationships, gossip, advice, and humor. Not long after that, Kathy told me to shave off all my hair. I looked at her as if she had lost her mind. She said, just think about how much better you'll look. My first thought was, of course, that she was going too far this time. On the other hand, I could see where she was coming from. If my legs were tanned and smooth like hers, they would look better. But I think Kathy could tell I wasn't sure what to do. She said that professional swimmers, cyclists, and male bodybuilders waxed their bodies to help them perform better and to look better. And if those big guys were able to do it, why couldn't I? It was true that I didn't swim or ride a bike for a living. I wasn't a bodybuilder either. In fact, Kathy got me to stop lifting weights altogether two years ago by convincing me that walking was a much better all-around workout that we could do together. Still, macho men like bodybuilders do it to look better and no one says anything about it. So I guess it must be okay. After getting waxed at the salon with Kathy, where my skin was still red and hurting, we drove to the mall for lunch. I ate a small salad and drank a banana smoothie while Kathy ate a delicious deluxe cheeseburger platter with fries. As I ate my diet food, I tried to remember that the sacrifice would be worth it in the summer. After lunch, we walked around the mall and looked at the stores. I've never liked going shopping. I was the kind of guy who would go right to the store I wanted, buy whatever I needed, and be on my way home in 10 minutes. But now I was stopping to look at things at my own pace and happily talking with Kathy the whole time. Kathy said, hey, look at this. I walked up beside Kathy. She was looking in the window of a store called California Dreaming that sold swimsuits. She pointed to a small turquoise mesh and said, I like that one. I pictured my lovely wife wearing the suit. I told you, oh, you'd look so nice in that. Kathy gave me a friendly pinch on the upper arm. I meant you, idiot. This is a store for women, Kathy. You can't be serious. Really, Johnny, she said, looking back and forth from the model to me. Does it make a difference? We went to the next store and forgot about it. But she planted a thought in my mind, whether she meant to or not. On Memorial Day, we opened the pool right on time. As was our usual practice, we had dinner and a swim with our friends Bob and Mary Pat, my wife had known Mary Pat for a long time before I met Kathy. Both of them worked as therapists who specialized in helping families. Bob and I kind of became friends on our own. Most of the time, we talked about sports, work, cars, and other things like that. But the truth was that he and I didn't have much in common. I thought he was a little rough around the edges. He was a construction manager, and I worked in an office. I didn't think I was better than anyone else or anything. We just didn't like the same kinds of things. He laughed and pointed to the yellow bikini I was wearing and said, that's a nice swimsuit. As I turned the steaks on the grill, I could feel myself getting red. I told Kathy that Bob was going to make fun of me a lot. She told me not to worry about it and that everything would be fine, but now, sure enough, he was attacking me. Suddenly, Mary Pat came to my rescue and told me to leave him alone. I think Johnny is very cute. Adorable. Bob huffed. Yes, I think it's sweet that he tries to look good for us girls. We also like to see a bit of a feminine side, you know. I didn't know if Kathy had already talked to Mary Pat or not, but I was very thankful for her defense. Kathy never said a word and just sipped her drink the whole time. Bob seemed upset, but for crying out loud, he shaved his legs. So, it looks much better. I like it even more now that I'm tan. I wish you would shave, Bob. Oh, Christ, Kathy, Mary Pat, and Bob ate grilled steaks and drank wine or beer while I picked carefully at a small plate of rice and steamed broccoli. Kathy let me have a non-alcoholic light beer because it was a special event. How about some steak? Bob asked. Is that the only thing you're eating? Kathy spoke up this time. Johnny has to watch what he eats. Bob seemed to be puzzled. Mary Pat seemed happy. I wondered if Kathy had told her friend about all of this before. Mary Pat didn't seem shocked at all. Still, I felt very ashamed. I got very red and found myself staring at my steamed broccoli for a long time. Bob, you could stand to lose some weight yourself. Later, he took me to the driveway like we always did to shoot some hoops. 
He was always bigger and stronger than me, but I usually had a good enough chance to keep it interesting. On that day, though, I couldn't even come close to putting anything in the basket. I hadn't played in a long time, and I couldn't even get close to the basket. At the same time, there was nothing I could do to stop Bob from driving to the basket. I was, if anything, a little scared of him. He seemed to be a lot rougher than usual when he played. I think he was still mad about what Mary Pat had said about the diet and how she had praised me. I mostly tried to stay out of his way, and it was easy for him to get an 11-0 lead. Bob yelled, Jesus Christ, why don't you just take off those flip-flops? He meant the bright yellow flip-flops with big soles that went with my outfit. I couldn't run at all in them, and I spent as much time trying to keep them from falling off as I did trying to cover Bob as he drove to the basket. I looked down at the asphalt with doubt. I said, I don't want to burn my feet. Then put on a pair of shoes. I finally admitted to myself that I don't really want to play basketball. Want to play a game of badminton? Badminton, Bob said, shaking his head in disbelief. He ended up sitting glumly by the pool and drinking another beer while I played croquet with Kathy and Mary Pat. I obviously lost. After our guests left and we cleaned up, Kathy and I watched TV in the living room. We were both pretty tired, so I was glad when she told me I had worked hard enough to take the night off from my ab roller exercises. She turned on a chick flick and started painting her nails. When Kathy was done painting, she asked me if I liked the color. I looked over and saw that the polish on her fingers and toes was a red. Yes, it looks nice, John, give me your foot. I was scared when I looked at her. What? Kathy was happy. Give your foot to me. Kathy, you can't. Oh, Johnny, why do you always have to overreact? I'll just give your nails a little polish. People will see, though. I'll only work on your toes. I want to see how polished they look. If you don't take your shoes off at work, no one will know. Now, honey, give me your foot. I put my foot in her lap, but I didn't want to. Don't be stupid, Kathy told me. She began painting my toenails with the red polish. Rock stars of all kinds paint their nails and put on makeup. It's not really that important. I thought she must be right. Besides, nobody would have to know. I thought about going to work the next day and sitting in the focus meeting with my toenails painted inside my wingtips. What would Stuart, Ken, and Tom think if they found out? I thought about Bob and how he had looked at me. How did he feel about me? I started to wonder for a moment. All done. I jumped and looked up. Huh? Kathy said. Honey, look at your toenails. Look, I looked at my feet, which were on her lap. They seemed to have changed. The polish made my feet look more delicate and small. You look so cute like this. I had to agree that the polish did make my feet look better. In fact, it was hard for me to stop looking at my own legs and pretty feet. Kathy saw that I was interested. She suggested that I always polish my toenails from now on, and I didn't say anything against it. She said she would buy me a toe ring, and when I got home from work the next day, I was wearing both the ring and a cute ankle bracelet. That night, I did my A-B roller exercises in the TV room. Every time I sat up and saw my pretty toes, I felt pretty. Here I was wearing a skimpy bikini and nail polish, but I wasn't ready for what my wife had in store next. Thanks for watching. The rest won't be viewable on YouTube, so check out Patreon if you want more.